Today, we're going to talk about why we are called earthlings. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but there's a new trend that's starting to happen with all this EMF radiation, and that's called the importance of grounding. So what does grounding mean? Well, if you look today, throughout history, humans spent most of their time outdoors, and they spent most of their time, if you look here at the earth, right? Here's the little people on the earth, the little stick people, you know, all over the earth. These are really sad looking people, but you get the idea. Doesn't matter where you are. They've got their feet on the ground. We used to walk on the ground, used to be on the ground a lot. And what's interesting, because of two things, we have the sun over here. As you know, we're traveling through the sun. The sun is moving, the sun's going this way. We're creating a different electromagnetic field. The earth spinning creates an electromagnetic field. The gravity is what keeps this guy on the planet and this guy and this girl all on the planet. We're all on the planet thanks to grounding. Now, what's interesting is the planet has its own frequency. This frequency, one of the things they discovered when they put people out into spaceships, astronauts, is they started having all different kinds of, kinds of functions here, right? Here's your ship flying all around the planet. You know, he's flying around. But guess what? The astronauts became ungrounded. So what happened is they discovered that there's certain frequencies that our bodies require. But guess what? Those frequencies are different than what's in TVs and our com computer screens. So you look at computer screens. You know, here's your little keyboard. Here's your computer screen. These things put out electromagnetic frequencies that don't, aren't necessarily harmonious to our body. The other thing is, is we used to have like leather shoes with leather soles that touch the ground and let the vibration go through, but now we don't have that. So the way you can go of it, and I don't know if you remember the movie Pretty Woman. Remember the movie Pretty Woman? And Julia Roberts was telling the character, Richard Gere's character, that when he traveled so much, he needed to get out onto the ground and put his feet on the ground. This would make him feel better. This was grounding. And in fact, that was my first exposure to grounding. I'd never heard of it before. I thought it was kind of crazy, but then years later we found out that Julia Roberts actually knew something. Well, I don't know if she knew something, but the movies sure played that way. So grounding allows by putting your feet on the ground. And what you really want to do is um, put your, take your socks off, your shoes off, and get your feet dirty right on the ground. What that does is you start getting these little ions, right? They come from the earth and they go whoop, whoop. And they charge you up. It's amazing how well you feel. Some people like to go into the ocean. Um, you know, they, that's a charging way to go through ionization. But also just putting your feet on the ground each and every day will charge you up. It's kind of like, think about it. I mean, if you left your iPhone and you don't put it on the charger, it doesn't work. Right? If your computer runs out of battery power. But we are earthlings and we require the frequency. So you got to realize that grounding is a big deal. The other thing is... You know, you know, the human mind is so creative, and now there's a bunch of people that have designed grounding pads, both for your sheets, so you can ground in. Um, I know my business partner is, you know, he's totally into this. He plugs in his sheets everywhere he goes, and it grounds right into the plugs, and this allows him to get to a deeper level of sleep. Um, so he incorporates that. The other thing is you can get grounding plates when you're sitting at your computer, or shoes. They now have shoes that um, replicate this, the frequency of the earth and allows you to ground while you're sitting or while you're walking. And these become very, very valuable. And of course, if you travel, um, what happens if you travel, you start changing your circadian rhythms. If you go over here or over here, or that sort of thing. Getting out onto the ground is essential. So one of the things I like to do as soon as I land is, you know, whether I'm coming back home or whatever, is I instantly go for a walk. And oftentimes I'll sit down on a bench or something, take my shoes and socks off and just put them on the feet. And, you know, so many people, when they go on vacation, they, they'll talk about how they recharge and what do they, where, where do they often go? They go to the beach, you know, where there's ocean current creating lots of oxygen, lots of, lots of ions going into the body, and they're running and walking and having a great time on the beach. So um, check out some of the stuff we have on our website about grounding. You can look about it. There's a whole book on the topic. Um, I was at the longevity conference uh, last year and, and saw these books that are out there on grounding, the science of it, and you can start incorporating this into your daily life, putting in pads on your feet, 
Um, making sure that you get your feet on the ground every day. If you're doing your morning routine, your meditation routine, that sort of thing, it's a good thing to do. And start putting this into your life, especially if you find that you're one of those people that, you know, gets a little bit wound up at night or can't sleep or has a hard time in insomnia and stuff. Chances are grounding is going to make a big difference in your life. So that's lesson 53. It's a short one today. I hope you enjoyed it. Try grounding. Give it a shot. Put your feet on the ground and find out why you're an earthling. And we will see you on the next lesson.